they say. Are you understanding what I'm saying here? It may look as though it may be dead. As a matter of fact, it may have the spirit of that situation may it may be gone. But you are you can call back by faith that spirit into that situation. You can breathe life into a situation that was dead. Perhaps your marriage and one is in one room and one is in the other, and, and, and all you know is that the, the divorce papers are in the mail. But I'm here to, to tell you that if you will stand in faith and say, God, if you will lead me, I'll follow. God, if you will if you will allow me then to drink this cup, God, not my will, but your will, Father, then we'll be able to do, we'll be able to do with the power of God what we could not do all these years in our flesh. We've got to make sure we get flesh out of the way and just let God move. Lord, have mercy. We need to keep our vision. You need to keep your vision. Jairus, at the moment he received that word that his daughter had died, the Lord spoke to him and said, don't be afraid, but only believe. I'm speaking to somebody out there that you need to, don't be afraid, only believe. Though your finances may be in disarray, don't be afraid, only believe. Believe. Though your household may, may be in, in, in discombobulated and you don't know the top from the bottom or the bottom from the top, you don't know which way is, if you're, you're going this way or going that way, I'm telling you now, don't be afraid. Only believe. You just let God move in your situation. Amen. And in, verse, in Mark 5.37, it says, Jesus permitted no one to follow him. Now they're on their way to Jairus' house. And Jesus didn't permit anyone to go with him except three pe people, Peter, James, and John. And in this season of our lives, not everyone can go with us. God is trying to take us to a new place in him. And the crowd won't always be a part of the process. I know sometimes we get comfortable because when we go, for me, when I go to sing, it's a crowd. And, you know, you can really push in when they're pulling on the anointing. But, but we're just as anointed for five that I'm just as anointed for five people that I am for 5,000 people, that same anointing, that same God. So sometimes the crowd can't follow us into the process. In verse 40, it says they ridiculed him. There were so many people in the house. Jesus is trying to get in to minister to the people. But, you know, we come to tell you tonight that not everyone is going to understand the vision that God has given to you for your family and for your ministry. Those people that used to be excited for you, those people who were right there encouraging you, those people who were there with you in the beginning and told you that it was a good idea, and they were right there with you when the Lord begins to open doors and you begin to really walk in favor, and people's lives really begin to be changed, and they're calling your name, not that you're taking God's glory, but they said, I just want to be there for you. I just want to pray for you. I just want to cover you. Those are the same people that will be like the ones in verse 40 who are ridiculing you. Because, see, the little, by the time Jesus got to the house, the situation seemed to be dead. The little girl was dead. So they said, now, Camilla, you know good and well that you can't go forth like that. And you know you can't move into this building because you don't have the this many members. And you know you don't have the money to do this. And you know you don't have your sound equipment. And you know you don't have your chair. See, what happens is people begin to tell you what you don't have. That's why you have to be able to separate yourself. Everybody can't go with you in this season when you are allowing God to move. There will come a time when you'll have to separate yourself so that you can get the full manifestation of the blessing. God, we, we get so comfortable sometimes just with the little trickle, just with the little drop. Oh, I just felt the move. Oh, I just felt something. But God wants to shower us. God wants to saturate us. He wants to soak us. He wants to submerge us in his glory, in his presence, with his blessings. And when we come from his presence, everyone well, no, it said the little girl, when Jesus called her name, she, she, she arose and she walked. And you know what? We will rise up out of those places of doubt. We'll rise up out of the place of defeat. We'll rise up out of the place of negative thinking. We'll rise up out of the place of lack. And we'll begin to walk in a place of faith. We'll begin to walk in a place of victory. We'll begin to walk in a place of positive thinking. We'll walk in a place of abundance because we've been alone with God. We've sought his face. We've only allowed those in the inner circle, those that who are truly interceding for us, those who the Lord has told us are truly with you. We'll be able to do this thing and walk with the Lord and begin to really, truly have favor. Yeah, really, yeah. 
truly see his manifestation and really truly begin to move heaven and earth and be able to impact the kingdom of God. As we let God move, I, 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 no, I'm, I'm, mm, Lord have mercy. When my wife was talking about the trickle, no longer being a trickle, but it, it's now an open flow. See, in your life, you know, there's going to be an open flow. I'm, I'm believing God that it's not by chance, you know, it's not by chance that you're hearing a word, a word that is quickening your spirit. I'm talking right now to, to, to call a 9669. That favor is all around you. Everywhere that you go, there's favor. We believe in God that you will have a double portion of favor on your life. And you can eat, I hear the Lord say, it's like a designer favor. You can speak on how you want the favor to move yeah. for you and on your behalf. You can speak and say, if you go into a place and say, hmm, I know they've got this on sale, but I want it for half price, and I, I'd like to be able to get four of instead of two of, and then you will be able to do it, all because you, 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 you have that favor shield around you in this moment, in this hour, in this season, that you'll be able to look at things even when the darkness is all around you. You'll still be able to see the light. It's like you have your night vision goggles on, and you'll be able to see the glory of God. And as you just begin to exalt him and magnify him, that favor will, be, will begin to overflow, and people who are around you will want to continue to hang around you, and it'll even draw people in because they realize the favor of God on your life. And also here, I, I, I see a caller 9779. Glory. I believe that grace and mercy are with you and wherever you go. There are some things that should have happened that have not happened. But glory be to God, you know, because of his grace and mercy. There are some things that have happened that you said, Lord, who, me? But the Lord God said, yes, even you. Know that the grace and mercy that are with you, God said, I'm, I'm giving this grace and mercy with you so that you can overcome some things. Lord, have mercy, so that you can be that overcomer that we read about in Revelation, and you overcome by your testimony. Don't sit on it. When God do, when, when God do those things for you, be a, be, a, be a witness and testify to the glory of God. And I hear for caller number 0487, restoration. And if you don't know what restoration means, it means a restoring of that which was back to a state of being new. Lord have mercy. I think I need to say that again. To, to restore uh, the state of bringing back to a newness. Yes. So God is going to bring back something to a state of newness in your life. Whether it be something in your body, Lord have mercy. Whether it be something in your finances. But you know what it is, and I do believe it quickens in your spirit. When you heard that word, restoration, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about you allowing God to just move in your life. We, we, I'm going to use my wife's song. We got to mount up right here. We got to mount up. And, it, and if you're going to mount up, you can't let weariness stop you. You, you can't let weariness. Somebody needs to hear this. Now, when you get tired, God said, let the weak say that I'm strong. Yeah. We, you, we've got to speak what the Bible says. It's time out for speaking what we said long enough. We, we've spoken our situation. We don't need to speak the situation any longer. We need yeah. to speak the solution yeah. to the situation. Yeah. We need to speak to the mountain and tell it to move. We need to see God while we're yet in the land of the living. Prophesy, I say, to those bones. Yeah. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Tell those bones to live. See, God has given us a mandate in this hour. He's given us a mandate in this season that our words our life, that our work, because we have power of death and life in our tongues. So we need to use the word of God to speak to the situation. I'm coming out of debt. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm coming up out of this financial load of our situation. Not only will I come out of debt, but I'll have wisdom on how to stay out of debt. So that when God bless me, I'll be a blessing to others. I'm speaking healing right now in the name of Jesus. Why? Because healing is the children's bed. I'm speaking right now so I can just step back and watch God move. We've got to know that when we speak it, we speak in faith. We speak and see the Lord God moving on our behalf. And knowing that the enemy is going to try to bring an evil report, we speak to him just like David 